my goodness, the fun just doesn't stop. what kind of treasures are hidden in here i see a lot of good old vintage whoa we got more than monster trucks here we've... and i've got a whole pile of cabs here mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's like with the ultimate toy claw 25 cents grab a scoop try again try again it's gonna go with this beautiful trail what a nice looking truck that is absolutely wicked. Yeah, that's the that's the setup right there. Wow, that's a couple nice trucks. These two are particularly nice. These old matchbox trucks are super cool. Really short wheelbase and oversized tires, but extremely nostalgic. Bigfoot, 4x4x4. Four by four by four. The 640 powered. Ford engine in there, running out of space here. And then there's that uh, USA One. Seen some mud stomping days for sure. Oh. Matchbox Jeep. Like look at how short the wheelbase is. It's almost ridiculous. The Hawk. Speaking of ridiculous, how about a Corvette convertible monster car? I think actually one of those did exist back in the day though. This one is probably one of my favorites here actually. Really like this truck. I don't know what the deal is with this thing. It must be, oh, it's uh, one of those kind of um, inertia based vehicles. <laughs> That's terrific. That's absolutely just so much fun. <laughs> oh, we got another one here too, the little van. This one's all plastic. Today we've got mystery box number two. That's episode number two. It might even be three episodes to finish this off. This is all from a giant random act of kindness, a huge gift sent by several people in Australia, Sydney, Australia. We've already seen one giant box just last week from Stephen Papa and Peter Brewer. Today I've got another box with Stephen Papa, Peter Brewer, Shaq, and Renan. I hope I'm getting all that right. It's hard to see on these little torn up labels here. But anyways, thank you guys very, very much. We're going to open up this box, live unboxing here on the camera, and go through everything that has been sent. This is a total mystery. I had no idea this was even coming to me, and what a nice surprise it was. I've also got another package from Ronald S. So we might be opening that one up in this video. It really depends on how much stuff is in here. Trying to keep these videos to, you know, under an hour, basically, because the last one went over an hour. There were so many cars and trucks to look at. Where to start? This is kind of a Frankenstein box. Looks to be two boxes built as one. To house the amount of vehicles in here we are about to reveal. Let's see now. Okay, we're getting into it now. There we go. Oh yes, I see transport trucks right off the bat. Some packing in here, holy smokes. Now this is a nice collection. Look at this. Transport trucks by the handful. You guys are so generous it's beyond it's this is like nothing i've ever received total random act of kindness halfway around the world and some awesome pieces very collectible i absolutely love johnny lightning these are just so cool the boat and trailers i've never seen this one either that's like brand new to me and all these transport truck cabs i I'm glad I didn't uh, get to matching trucks and trailers just yet because there's going to be so many more trucks and trailers to match now. It's going to be a truck and trailer matching party once I get through all of these boxes. Look at all the trailers in here. Holy what? Circus Circus. This is awesome. It's so cool. It's in like perfect condition too. Old vintage matchbox trailers. These things are quite sturdy. Heavy duty metal chassis. 
And there you go, Matchbox. What's the date on that? 1981. Holy. Very cool. Very, very cool. And I can see... I mean, I'm going to open this bag up separately, but I can see there's a whole bunch of Yatman, Road Champs, and uh, assorted trucks in here. So those have all been grouped together. Got another Matchbox trailer here. Looks like it would carry something. I'm not really sure what. Really do need to get some of this Johnny Lightning out of the way, but I just keep getting lost looking at trucks. Whoa, so many cool trucks. What is this little guy? A play art. Never seen one of those before. Just tiny. Uh, another Matchbox Ford Aero Max. Very nice. Wow. And some random bits and bobs. I'm sure we'll match that up with something shortly. Where am I going to put everything? I need another table almost to get all this out. Oops, sorry about that. So I think we're going to go through some Johnny Lightning here. Get some wrapping out of the way. Then we can kind of look at all that as we go. But Johnny Lightning Hot Rods. 1932 High Boy. I don't have one of those in my collection. Beautiful car. So like I said in the last, the first mystery box... Gonna be opening up a lot of these uh, Johnny Lightnings, especially the ones that have like pretty damaged cards, because I'm primarily a loose collector. So the packaging has to be in pretty darn good condition for me to keep it, uh, when even when it's vintage in the packaging. I do love the packaging art though; it's so cool. But uh, often I'll just keep one as a kind of like a cardboard library of diecast stuff. This is nice. It's all carefully bagged up. Now these these ones here, packaging is in pretty good shape. The Saturday Evening Post. Let's see, what are we looking at here? 1964 Ford Falcon Sedan Delivery. And they've got all these Evening Post ads on them. Wow, never seen these before either. Very cool. Different pages from the post. Hmm. And these are copyright. No, I don't know. 2005. These have a copyright of 2005. So those are somewhat uh, getting older. 16 years old now. And the van. Oh, I love the van. Saturday evening post van. The Chevy van. And the 55 Chevy Cameo. Wow, I don't think I have that truck in my collection either. Very cool. 57 Lincoln Premier. Beautiful old car. Making room. Okay, we've got some more bubble wrap here. And a fair amount of tape on this one. Let's see if we can get this thing open without damaging anything inside. Excellent. All right, what have we got here? Spoilers. Oh, I love the spoilers. Used to be able to buy these at Walmart. Haven't seen Johnny Lightning in Walmart in quite some time now, though. And the Willys Gassers. Very cool. Actual car it's based on. Green Mantis. Look at them all. Holy. Very cool. The Wee Willy. Owner Tom Clinton. Now that's cool. I like that they have these little card references to the actual cars. Pretty much have to keep these together with the car or at least a collection of them. Because, uh, well, it's just so cool. It's almost like history. The history of some of the coolest old cars of yesteryear. Willie's Gassers. I'm not sure if that was a magazine or a club. Or is it just a Willie's Gasser? Did we miss one? Missed the funny car. Wow. Very cool. Very, very cool. We've got some of the uh, Johnny Lightning from the not-so-desirable phase of their run when they were uh, under different ownership. You can see the difference in the size of the 
the cardboard and actually the car's quality dropped quite a bit for just a couple years while well, RC2 I think was was making these cars and uh, plastic wheels plastic bases minimal opening parts still cool models I have a, a whole bunch of them I think I got every single one from those years I was buying them by the case but I'm not really sure why another is Willie's gassers I'm gonna have quite the diorama of Willie's gassers we're gonna have, to have a car meet Oh, and this is going to be a nice Volkswagen 21 window Samba bus. So cool. Hmm. Very neat. Nice colors and pinstriping. White wall tires. Whoa, what have we got here? Buses. Look at these buses. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to, the trucks and the buses, they're individually wrapped like this. I'm going to take them out. Get a different camera view on these and get them out on the table next to each other. Look at this one. Oh, so cool. Okay, I'll put those aside for now. Oh my goodness. Little truck there just kind of wandered out of the wrapping. I'm not really sure what brand that is. Looks like Yatming. But look at this. The Major kit. Majorette. Super old. Looks like it's never been played with. Funny, they got these huge cars. Or no, these are normal sized cars. Is this just a tiny, tiny little scale kit? Wow, we're gonna have to build this. The major Majo kit. I've never even heard of these things before. It comes with the original sticker sheet. So like one sticker's been applied somewhere. I'm just trying to get, figure out what the scale is of these things. I have no idea. I mean, there's some street lights, so that looks like about looks like it could work with the uh, 164 scale. But from that one picture, it's a little bit deceiving. So that in itself is going to be a video, I would say, because for the sake of this video, it's going to take way too much time to build that right now. I've also got some cool old gas station kits that. Stephen and uh, Peter sent me from about a half a year ago that I'm going to build in a video soon. Didn't mean to do that. Whoa. Look at the size of this old crane with a driver. Love these old dinkies. Dinky Super Toys. 20 ton lorry mounted crane. Made in England. Meccano. Number 972 absolutely cool now I would put this at like more like a 164 scale as you can see maybe it's maybe it's a bit uh, yeah I'd say it's about 164 scale versus these smaller trucks which are more like one 100 scale 187 scale matchbox style I mean the name came because originally all the vehicles were designed to fit in the size of a box of matches which they still do, and uh, sometimes they would even be sold in like matchbox style boxes. So some very cool trucks, absolutely awesome. We're definitely gonna have a truck dedicated video of everything that has been sent to me through these mystery boxes, because there's just so much to look at, and I need to pair up these trailers. Is this a Harley Davidson trailer? Holy smokes! I wonder how many times I've said holy smokes in this video already. This is just mind boggling. So, so neat. And what have we got here? A big matchbox. Uh, Super Kings. K92 transporter. So that would be used for transporting a tractor or something like that. And the Johnny Lightnings just keep coming. Very, very cool. Another Chi Town Hustler. Is that what it is? Chi Town. Chai Town. So much stuff. What is this? A huge bag of monster trucks. Vintage Matchbox monster trucks. Okay. That, along with the buses and the transport trucks and the bags, I have to take to the review table where I can get a little more comfortable and sit down and actually get them out on the table because I really, literally, literally don't have the room here.
And this is to add to the already mountain of gifts that these guys have given me from the box I just opened up. Some more cool old Matchbox Super Kings. I think these are 143rd scale. Missing its trunk, but such a neat old vintage piece of a Jaguar. Um, Jaguar XK12. All right. I've got quite a little grouping of these vehicles now, these larger scale vehicles. Another Jaguar. This one looks to be a Corgi, I bet. Opening hood. Opening doors. No, oh, it's a matchbox. Super Kings. Very cool. Different different uh, generations of Jaguar there. This one looks like a dinky. Yeah, dinky Ford Transit van. Super heavy duty. They just don't make toys like this very often anymore. It's still got the things in the back. Doors open on it. Heavy duty. And they keep coming. More ambulances and police vehicles. Very neat. Another Ford Transit. Look at the difference in Ford Transits over the years. Wowee, that is so cool to see those two side by side. And are these doors open? Yes, they do. Looks like a stretcher would go in the back. Same with these Jaguars. I mean, these two Jaguars, I should put them side by side because they're very different generations. Very, very neat. Some more Johnny Lightnings lurking around in the bottom here. Oh, wow, racing champions. Check out the artwork on that bad gasser. Corvette. Is it a 58 Corvette? Some massive slicks. Never seen those before. Monster trucks, monster machines, bad gassers, and low riders. More awesome artwork. Wow, New Year's 1998. One of only 15,000. That's quite a few, actually, but Father Time. So long, 1997. <laughs> Here we are in the year 2021. 24 years later. So long, 1997. Who would have thought we'd be in this, this sort of world at this point? <laughs> Classic Customs Corvette. Another 58 Corvette by the looks of it. Limited collector or something on the base. Collector number. And a coin. Collector coin as well. Well, we're going to get those a few more out because we've got lots of loose cars to look at. I think we're going to take them all to the die-cast review table to open them up. Some more Corvettes. And a beautiful old delivery. 55 Ford panel delivery with the Evening Post. Once again, for that post collection of vehicles. America's oldest magazine. It's just a wealth of information on all these Johnny Lightning cars. Oh, wow. Yes, indeed. Vintage Road Champs. Sadly, this one got a little crushed, but look at the old artwork. Bought at Murphy's for 97 cents. So cool. This one I'm definitely keeping the packaging for. All these old wind racers. Wind racers. Isn't that something? Oh, they came out. There's a wind racer for you. Mint condition. First time out of the package since 1981. 40 years ago. 40 years old. And it's uh, nearly mint. I'm going to see if I can polish that roof. It just looks like a little bit of goo, so I'm going to carefully do that off camera. What a beautiful little wind racer. I mean, I wonder how many of these things are still in existence. Not very many, I would think. Not very many. And the old road champions. Road machines, sorry. It's got the Yatming style wheels on it. Looks like a Yatming casting, actually, but with sealed shut doors. I could be wrong, though. Roadmasters. Just a generic, like, dollar store type vehicle. Probably uh, quite old as well. 1993. Okay, so not quite as old, 28 years old. This is one of my favorite Majorette cars of all time, the big old limousine. 158 scale, made in France. I've got quite a few of these now, and I just hoard these things. I absolutely love them. Um, I'd like to do a custom with one one day. 
maybe like maybe even this one I'll drill out the rivets take the wheels off put on some real riders some nice rubber tires or something from a green light car give it a paint job buff out those windows could make it look pretty cool got enough of them I could probably do that now another cool Willie's gasser Frock, Proc and Howell. Proc and Howell. Owner Tom Proc. Very cool. This is just so nice, guys. Thank you so much. Honestly, this is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Some more vintage cars. Another Wind Racer. This one also wants to come out of the package. It looks just like a Road Champ. And, or Yatming. We're going to get all those cars out, do a little comparison for this one. Although the, the Road Champs and Yatmings don't have an opening hood, they have opening doors. But uh, this one's got a nice chromey engine. Again, like probably 40 years old. 1981, 40 year old car, another chip on it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And Tough Wheels, another dollar store type car from yesteryear. 160th scale, 63 Corvette, 99 cents. How are cars still only like roughly a dollar with all this hyperinflation? Final loose items, Australian limited edition collector's model matchbox bus in a matchbox. Very cool. Got this neat looking transport truck. Big W. It's got the box that uh, goes on there as well. Who makes that? Made in China. No brand. Looks a little skinny. Looks a little bit skinny. Still very cool though. Now here is a classic piece. The old Lesney Intercity minibus. It's in great condition. Look at how clear the windows still are on this thing. Oh, it's Corgi. Wow, I thought this was going to be Matchbox. Made in Great Britain. Isn't that cool? I know I have one of these, but not nearly as nice a condition. And uh, certainly my windows are all cracked and broken. What is this little thing? These look like little train, HO scale train uh, pieces. Wow, those will probably go nicely with the, um, the HO scale transport trucks that came out of Mystery Box 1. Ah, and here we go, a Matchbox Jaguar with its trunk. Very cool. Police, stop. And amazing, it still has all the pieces on the roof. So we've got two different paint jobs here. One with a trunk, one without. Okay, a few loose pieces left. Get some more of these little HO scale cars. I don't know where they're going to put those in the collection, but they certainly are neat. Very cool. I don't know what kind of cars they are or who makes them. Is that upside down? Triumph 2000, number four, made in England. Yeah, look at them all. Oh, this has got a neat little van. Chrome base. These ones have some branding on them. Minix. Austin A60 and uh, another Minix made in England. I'll bet you these are quite old, actually. Very old. And it looks like there's just a ton of them here. So why don't we transfer over to this cool Matchbox van. The ambulance van. I really like this model. It's a wagon transporter. And a Hot Wheel. Got the old Hot Wheel Rabbit Golf with the opening hood. Hair splitter, they call that. And it should have a spare tire on it, but that's gone. This one's seen some sandbox days for sure. Very cool. And yet this Jeep, Matchbox Jeep, has been saved from the sandbox. CJ8. It's got the removable roof, which is still there. Very nice. Ooh, that's a nice Matchbox. Lumina stock car, Joy Mellow Yellow. Yeah, that's a matchbox. Mm, mm, mm. 156 scale. Oh, we got some some smaller trucks here. 
like some Tomica maybe. No, it's made in China. Got the Tomica kind of wheel. This one has a toe toe feature. Very cool. This will be good on the HO scale setup as well. Little Hot Wheel Ferrari. Yeah, what is this? Something, something falling off something. We'll figure that out later, put that aside. Okay, we're down to these little bits and then we're gonna take the bags of buses, trucks, and monster trucks to the table. Check those out further. Some more cute little vans. I think we're gonna save the third package for yet another video, Mystery Box 3, because there's still so much stuff we need to look at. All these monster trucks, um, the buses, and the bag of transport trucks, as well as just getting everything out onto the diecast review table where I can actually look at it with some space. From your collection to mine, I've got an entire tote filled with the diecast, which we're gonna put on the review desk and connect up some of these trucks with their trailers, look at these monster trucks and buses, and just have a grand old time here of playing with some diecast toys. Yes, look at all this stuff. Will it even fit all on this table? Let's find out. First thing, let's get this bag of monster trucks opened up. Let's see what kind of treasures are hidden in here. I see a lot of good old vintage whoa we got more than monster trucks here we've got some cattle and some ostriches and pylons trailers very unique pieces for sure i have to just go through all of this individually oh monster cars too these are the old matchbox monster cars whoa i do not have any of these in my collection it's so cool and who makes that one? Road Champs. Got a Road Champ Monster uh, Van. Ford. The Conline Van. Big old, uh, what is this one called? Toad. Toad. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at the buses. And we've got a little bit of a mess here. Got to get the vacuum out. Got the buses now. How do we even open this thing up? It's like been vacuum sealed or something. Where is the Kniff? Quite excited to see what this old green bus is. Well, I'm excited to see what they all are, but it looks like it might be from HO scale. Um, very interesting. Yeah, that's a diorama piece. I think so is this one because they're all plastic. Super cool old buses though. This one actually has something on the bottom. Mercedes made in Greece. Made in Greece. Isn't that something? I think that's a diorama bus as well. Take a look at this one. Century. Reprivo? I don't know. I don't know my bus is all that well. This one's a majorette though. So that would have been available uh, even here in Canada back in the day. Another all plastic bus with extremely detailed realistic wheels. No windshield on it. So that's probably from a diorama. And another all plastic bus. Another diorama piece. Can I see something on the bottom? Mercedes. Cool. Let's get these transport trucks out now. Big bag of transport trucks. Oh my goodness, the fun just doesn't stop. Wow, so much stuff here. Okay, time for a new camera angle. Now we are at the review station, all seated and comfortable. We can look at these monster trucks a whole lot closer because you probably didn't get a good look at them from my previous unboxing angle. But first, a mountain of transport trucks. Let's see what we've got in here. What kind of transport trucks do we have? I'm really curious to know who makes these road champs. So those wheels are road champs. Oh, I think I just broke that. Maybe not. Road champ trucks. They don't have the opening doors, I don't think. Maybe they do. 
So that one is also a road champ. This is a racing car hauler. I'm not really sure what kind of hot wheel or car is going to fit in there. It's pretty small. And we've got the Pontiac racing trailer. That is so cool. Also, you can load a car with that. And that is a Road Champs. There's its matching cab. So these are very cool. Nice condition too, actually. Very heavy, all metal. And what have we got here? Uh, a Kenworth T800A. Okay, and uh, the Sitgo truck. Let's see if we can find that one. I think that's probably going to be the truck there. It's got the same matching wheels. Another Kenworth. And the Federal Express truck. That's this one here. It's kind of an older cab. We've got a little bit of a dusty look to it. Sun bleached grill. Road Champs. Uh, does it say what kind of truck that is? No. Maybe one of my more knowledgeable viewers can let me know in the comment. Any of these trucks that I'm not able to identify. Another Kenworth here with the global container. This one's missing its attachment piece. That's okay. It still displays nice. Oh yeah, I did break that off. Darn it. There. Ah, broken in transit maybe. Might be able to fix that up. Well, that's a project for another day for now. And these trailers do have opening doors. I'll just put that in there so I keep it all together. Red's Dairy. It's a cattle truck. Got a little bit of a suspension issue on this one. And I suspect some of these animals that I have over here in the pile of stuff that came out of the, uh, the bag of monster trucks. We've got some little horses here. Uh, well, not that horses have anything to do with dairy, but... Do have a do have a cow maybe the cow goes with that and even there's like a little pig a little pig there's actually like a little pig so some parts that may actually go with some of these other trucks i'm not really sure but uh anyways we can use our imagination another racing hauler Ernie Itvin, Morgan McClure Motorsports, the Kodak film livery. So if that doesn't tell you how old these are, I mean, who uses film these days? Um, Got to be pretty old. Nice condition on these trucks. Interesting collection. Something I don't have in my group of vehicles up to this point. Mayflower. Interesting. Very interesting. And one final piece. I don't know which one that... I mean, it's the last trailer to go with a truck, so I assume... No, that's not the right truck for it. Oh, the wheels are completely wrong. Who makes this one? This is another Road Champ, Ford Aeromax 120. Missing one axle. Kind of a uh, bland paint job on this one, but it's a cool truck nonetheless. And uh, I've got this... Road Champ Trailer, Tradition of Transportational Excellence. Oh, we can line it up anyways. Looks all right. Very cool. So those are the transport trucks we've lined up with our trailers. Let's make some room here as we get more trucks. I never figured out yet which cab goes with this transport truck. I'm really quite curious about that one. Um, actually, all of these nice matchbox trailers are particular interest to me. I really like the old vintage matchbox trailers. So we're going to figure that out here in a moment. Five trailers. It's not going to be the cab. And I've got a whole pile of cabs here. It's like the ultimate toy claw. 25 cents. Grab a scoop. Try again. Try again. There, I think we got most of them. That's probably something unrelated. Uh, yeah, that's all the tr that's all the cabs. I don't know what this is going to be from. 
Oh, that's from this truck. That's right. That's this truck here. The big W truck. Another Road Champs, I believe. So we already looked at that one. We put that one aside. Figure that one out. But it's these trucks here that we're debating. Which one goes with which? Got this interesting kind of safari looking uh, truck, which was a uh, Kenworth. Yeah, we already looked at that. Kenworth. So that's a Road Champ, Matchbox, 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 Road Champ, miscellaneous part. Just sort these by brand, Matchbox, Matchbox. So that makes it a little bit easier. We've got more Matchbox cabs than we do trailers. And we've got a couple extra cabs with no trailers. So actually, I wonder, no, I wonder if this, this truck goes with, no, that's, I mean, they're at least the right brands. That's a Pepsi truck, so it would have a Pepsi trailer. I don't see a Pepsi trailer in here. So, I think we can safely guess that this Harley uh, Davidson Campo is going to go with this beautiful trail. What a nice looking truck. That is absolutely wicked. Looks amazing. And what kind of truck was this again? Another Kenworth. Wait, the Matchbox likes their Kenworths. That is a very nice rig. I'm guessing these two trucks might go together. What do you think? Maybe not. Looks almost like a shell. Scania T142. Or maybe it's this one. I mean, it is red. Same red. I'm guessing it's probably this Ford. I'm going to say it's the Ford. Although it can't turn, so... No, it can't. Well, actually, yes, it can. Yeah, that's the that's the setup right there. Wow, that's a couple nice trucks. These two are particularly nice. Isn't that nice? Very cool. Okay, we'll put those aside. We can find somewhere to display those in the uh, diecast museum. And then we've got these trailers here. These trucks are actually both the same. Similar. I don't know which truck is going to go to which. The Midnight Express, that's going to be this one here. Midnight Express. Very cool. It's got the sleeper on it. Opening doors. And we've got this trailer here. I don't know. This doesn't look like it matches any of these trucks. But I'll bet you that this rig maybe matches with this one. Boat train, is that what it says? The DAF 3300 Space Cab. Boat trans. Oh, might not be. Either way, they'll all work. They all work at doing something. So that's a great group. Um, let's take a look at these monster trucks just a little closer up. I'm going to hit the highlights. This is the one I was having trouble identifying. Uh, I want to say it's a Blazer, but it could be a Ford. Hmm. These were common trucks about 20 years ago. It's just slipping my mind right now what kind of vehicle it is. And of course it doesn't say, but these old Matchbox trucks are super cool. Really short wheelbase and oversized tires, but extremely nostalgic. You got the hog here. And this car, I've got this one with normal wheels on it, so these bodies have been used in normal vehicles as well. Matchbox just adapted them to the monster truck chassis. The bog buster is just, it's got to be one of my favorites. Um... Yeah, this is also a matchbox. We're going to look at all the matchbox first. Bigfoot, 4x4x4. Four by four by four. The 640 powered Ford engine in there. Running out of space here. And then there's that uh, USA 1. Seen some mud stomping days for sure. Um, got the Jeep, matchbox Jeep. Like, look at how short the wheelbase is. It's almost ridiculous. The Hawk. Speaking of ridiculous, how about a Corvette convertible monster car? I think actually one of those did exist back in the day, though. And then we've got this big old Ford truck, the Awesome Kong 2, in case you're wondering what that one looked like. 
It's got like the rear wheel steering going on big time here as the G chassis is slightly broken. And uh, this one is probably one of my favorites here actually. I really like this truck. The big tow rig. I mean, this is the same truck almost as uh, any number of these other trucks over here. No, it's not actually, it's a different truck. Super cool. It's gotta be one of my, the best monster trucks ever. And uh, rounding out the matchboxes, don't think there was any more actually. Oh, what's this one? Yeah, one more matchbox Jeep. Very cool. Then we've got the uh, Ford van, Firecat. Road Champs on the tire, Ford. Looks like a matchbox almost. We've got the generic brand van, the Firebird. Firebird. Uh, it doesn't say who makes this one. It's made in Hong Kong. I don't know what the deal is with this thing. It must be... Oh, it's uh, one of those kind of uh, inertia-based vehicles. You just... <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Oh, that thing's got some spice to it. <laughs> that's terrific that's absolutely just so much fun <laughs> oh we got another one here too the little van this one's all plastic it's really got some inertia let's see this one. Oh, actually the first one was better <laughs> okay how are your eardrums doing <laughs> and we got this cool little looks like a toyota pickup truck uh, no, no real brand on it. Made in China. Uh, it says something. Soma. A Soma brand. Kind of neat. That's the monster trucks. Uh, so we're going to make a little bit of room here. Get all this out of the way. Because literally there's, we're out of table space already. And then we're going to get some of this other stuff out. For a little, oh. Ah, darn it. Just check out how much stuff there is, even when spread out on the table. And this is excluding the big box of monster trucks and transport trucks. But as you can see, so much stuff to look at. And uh, really need to do another video to do this haul justice. As you can see, we did look at all of the uh, monster trucks and tractor trailers, which I've just temporarily put into this box. So that I could get these out on the table for one last uh, look until the next video anyways. And uh, pretty cool, this dinky. I do a little repair to the string, so now that's working. And uh, also a side-by-side -side for all of the HO scale diorama type vehicles, including the buses, plastic buses with those plastic cars. A whole bunch of them. And, of course, the Majorette kit. And a whole bunch more Johnny Lightning. So much stuff to open up and look at. And then these really cool 143rd scale Corgi, Matchbox, Dinky, what have you. And the Mystery Trailer with no cab. Perhaps that's in the other box. In fact, it could be in this collection of boxes. This was the uh, first box I opened up from Stephen and Peter. So I've yet to bring that to the table just yet. So I really was getting a little bit antsy to see what was in some of those other boxes. And of course now we're going to have a third video for the final package from Ronald. But I still have all of these other trucks and trailers to put together. So we've got some more video content coming. And of course... Steven and Peter have been asking me, when am I going to get around to building these uh, car wash shop kit? It's like the full five pack kit of uh, some gas station builds. So that is coming. But you know, I've just got so many video ideas to do. It may take a few more days to get everything put together. And... Uh, you know, we've got some product reviews that need to get done too. But this is probably the most fun I've had getting these mystery boxes from such generous, kind people in Australia sending me all these goodies. 
but lots more to come still got the m2 some new johnny lightning some new green light some sealed cases of green light in fact still and more on the way got some orders coming in the mail so lots to look at in the near future so once again a humongous thank you all of you lads that have sent me all this awesome stuff for review on my channel adding it to my collection I, I really can't thank you enough. You guys are just great. It's been an absolutely terrific, fun experience for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, make sure if you liked it, hit the old like button, all the rest of that stuff. And uh, of course, happy hunting. Stay tuned. We'll see you soon.